Today's episode of Aquatic Wetline is brought to you by Oasis Aquatics. Find your oasis today. Find your next fish at oasisaquaticsnj.com. Check out Oasis Aquatics on Facebook and Instagram. Welcome to the incredible world of the Amazon, home to a diverse range of aquatic and rainforest animals. Get ready to encounter the fearsome piranhas, known for their sharp teeth and ferocious feeding frenzies. Witness the breathtaking beauty of the macaws, with their vibrant feathers and melodious calls echoing through the rainforest. Come face to face with the mighty anacondas, the largest snakes in the world, as they navigate their way through the Amazon's waterways. Meet plenty of other aquatic and rainforest creatures from the Amazon. Ready to dive deeper into the wonders of the Amazon? Join Aqua Alex right now from the Amazon. Life in Amazon goes live in. Hello and welcome to an all new episode of Life in the Amazon. I'm your host, South American fish keeper, Aqua Alex Cardinelli. You know, South America and the Amazon River is home to a plethora of different South American fish. Among the South American fish is cichlids. And South America is home to many different cichlid species. Last time on Life in the Amazon, we talked about severums, we talked about walrus, chocolate cichlids, and true parrot cichlids here on Life in the Amazon. Well, there are three more South American cichlids that are extremely popular in the aquarium hobby. And these South American cichlids are popular for one reason. They are very docile. They are very peaceful and they can live in a community aquarium setting. Compared to other cichlids, they aren't as aggressive as some of the more larger predatory cichlids out there, and they are absolutely beautiful. Tropical fish keepers today on Life in the Amazon, I am going to talk about angelfish, discus, and festivums. Three beautiful South American cichlids and three unique cichlids. What makes angelfish, discus, and festivums unique is that they are totally shaped different than other cichlids. Angelfish and discus are extremely popular in the hobby, and the festivum flag cichlid, I always say, is like the garami version of a cichlid. So today on Life in the Amazon, I'm going to educate you on angelfish, discus, and festivums. I'm going to give you information on them, and I'm going to tell you how to keep and care for them in the home aquarium, and then I'm going to share photos and videos of these amazing fish. So I want to thank you all for watching this episode. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you learn a lot about angelfish, discus, and festivums. So, in the comments, be sure to let me know, what do you like about discus, angels, and festivum cichlids? Let me know in the comments. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this show started. And we're going to start by discussing discus. So, here is some information on discus cichlids. Discus are often referred to as the king of the aquarium hobby, and that's because they are very majestic and they are very beautiful. Now, pictured on the screen is a wild, teefy, red-spotted green discus. And the wild, teefy, red-spotted green discus 
is one of my all-time favorite discus. So let me give you some information on discus. Discus are a genius of cichlids native to the Amazon River Basin in South America. Due to their distinctive shape, calm behavior, many bright colors and patterns, and dedicated parenting techniques, discus are popular as freshwater aquarium fish, and their aquaculture in several countries in Asia, notably Thailand, is a major industry. Discus are extremely popular in the aquarium hobby. There are currently three different types of discus. You have your Sympasodon aquafasciatus, which is known as the blue discus or the brown discus, and that is found in the central Amazon basin. You have your Sympasodion discus, which is also known as the Hecali discus. So the Sympasodion discus is also known as the red discus or Heckel discus, and they are found in the Amazon basin. And then finally, we have Sympasodon tarzo, which is known as the green discus. Those are your teethy green discus, your red spotted green discus, and you'll find them in the western Amazon basin, and that's near Peru. Now, like cichlids from the genus Petrophyllum, angelfish, all Sympasodon discus species have a laterally compressed body shape. In contrast to angelfish, however, extended finnage is absent, giving Sympasodon discus a more rounded shape. It is this body shape from which their common name, discus, is derived. The sides of the fish are frequently patterned in shades of green, red, brown, and blue. Some of the more brightly marked variants are the result of selective breeding by aquarists and do not exist in the wild. Now, discus are highly social, typically occurring in groups that may number many dozens of individuals which is unique among cichlids of the Americas. When breeding, the pair moves away from the group, possibly to reduce the risk of cannibalism of the young. As with most cichlids, brood care is highly developed with both the parents caring for the young. Additionally, adult discus produce a secretion, discus milk through their skin on which the larvae live during their first four weeks. During the first two weeks, the parents stay near the, stay near, stay near the young, allowing them to feed easily. In the last two weeks, they swim away, resulting in the young being gradually weaned off and starting to fend for themselves. Now in the wild, discus primarily feed on allergy, other plant material, and detritus, but they also eat small invertebrates. Invertebrates can make up 38% of the stomach content in wild discus during the high water season, but this decreases during the low water season, and year-round it is generally lower in the other species. Unlike more predatory cichlids, discus have relatively long intestines, typical of a herbivore or omnivore. Now, discus inhabit the margins of floodplain lakes and rivers in the lowland Amazon basin, where they are part of the highly diverse neotropical fish fauna. Now, Sympasodion discus is restricted to blackwater habits but periodically they may experience brief floods of white water. Sympasodion tarzu is found in both black and white water, and Sympasodion aquafasciatus also occurs in clear water. Because of their preference for lentic habitats, such as floodplains and flooded forests, 
White water inhabited by dis discus contains little suspended material, unlike main sections of whitewater rivers. The three species of discus, Cyphosodon, have different geographic distributions. Cyphosodon aquafacialis occurs in the East Amazon downriver from the Purus Arc and Cyphosodon tarzu in the West Amazon upriver from the Prius Arc. In contrast, the distribution of Cyphosodon discus appears to be limited to the lower reaches of the Rio Negro, Upper Utama, Nahamada, Trembatas, and Abaxis rivers. The Nano River or the Nane River in far western Amazonians is outside the native range. Discus in the, Nan the Rio Nene River were introduced from stock originating in the Tifi area by an aquarium exporter more than 30 years ago. So the Rio Nene discus are not native to that region. They were introduced to the Rio Nene. So that is information on discus cichlids in the wild. Now I want to talk to you about keeping discus cichlids in the home aquarium. Believe it or not, I at one point had discus and I kept discus. Now discus are a very beautiful fish. They are very majestic and they do have lots of coloration. But I particularly found discus to be kind of boring considering they stayed in the same spot all day long, except at feeding time and except at nighttime. Now, would I personally keep discus again? Maybe. Maybe I would do a tank of wild red spotted green teefy discus. If I were to keep discus again, I would only keep the wild caught discus. That's nothing against the captive raised or captive bred discus, but the wild caught discus, in my opinion, are very, very beautiful. Now, for many years, there were myths out there that discus were difficult to take care of and that they were difficult to keep in the home aquarium. Well, I am here to tell you they are not difficult. If I could keep discus, you can keep discus. Now, Here's the good news about discus in this generation. Discus in this generation have been captive bred for so many years that they are used to many water parameters. Discus nowadays are incredibly hardy. I personally recommend discus Hans, German bred discus, but some of the Asian bred discus are just as nice as well. But the German discus have been raised to live in a little bit of a higher pH, and they are a lot hardier than some of the other uh, discus that are out there. So with discus, you just have to make sure that you have pristine water. You just have to make sure that you keep up on your water changes. Maybe do uh, every other day water changes. Make sure your water parameters don't fluctuate a lot. Discus can't handle fluctuating water parameters. So my advice for keeping discus cichlids in the home aquarium would be before you get discus, make sure your water parameters are stable. Make sure your tank is cycled. And once you have a cycled aquarium, then you can go out and get some tank raised uh, German European bred discus or some hardy Asian discus. But if you want to keep wild discus, your pH has to be low, and you should keep it as close to uh, natural water parameters as possible. And in the aquarium hobby, you can feed your discus bloodworms, beef heart, brine shrimp, and quality fish food. And that is information on the beautiful discus cichlid. All right, switching gears now. Now we're going to talk about another beautiful cichlid from South America, and now we're going to talk about the beautiful 
angelfish. So angelfish are actually one of my personal favorite South American peaceful cichlids. I would say my personal angel fit my personal favorite angelfish would be a nice wild caught Rio Nane scalar angel. And that is the first angel you see on the screen right now. The one with the yellow coloration. That is a Rio Nane wild caught Petrophyllum scalar angelfish. They are absolutely beautiful. So let's learn about angelfish right now. Right now, shall we? So let's learn about the beautiful angelfish. Now, angelfish are a small genius of freshwater fish from the family Cichlidae, known to many aquarists as angelfish. All petrophyllum species originate from the Amazon Basin, Orinoco Basin, and various rivers in the Guyana Shield in tropical South America. The three species of petrophyllum are unusually shaped for cichlids, being greatly laterally compressed with round bodies and elongated triangular dorsal and anal fins. This body shape allows them to hide among roots and plants, often on a vertical surface. Naturally occurring angelfish are frequently striped transversely, coloration which provides additional camouflage. Angelfish are ambush predators and prey on small fish and microinverts. All petrophyllum species form monogamous pairs. Eggs are generally laid on a submerged log or a flattened leaf. As is the case for other cichlids, brood care is highly developed. And there are three species of petrophyllum angelfish. The first species is one that is really rare and really expensive in the aquarium hobby, and that is petrophyllum altum. Now, petrophyllum altum can be found in the Orinoco River Basin and the Upper Rio Negro Watershed in southern Venezuela, southeastern Colombia, and extreme northern Brazil. A lot of fish keepers try keeping the Altam Angel, and a lot of them fail. Luckily, there are captive-raised Altam Angels now, so we're very lucky that we now have captive-raised Altam Angels that can thrive in the home aquarium. But back in the old days, it used to be wild cut autumn angels got imported and a lot of them died during importation. And a lot of them died when they reached the home aquarium because many fish keepers were able to replicate the natural water parameters that autumn angels come from. But like I said, nowadays we have captive raised autumn angels and they are very, very beautiful. The next angelfish that we have out there is Petrophyllum scalar. And you will find the scalar angels in the Amazon basin in Peru, Colombia, and Brazil. Petrophyllum scalar is the most common angelfish in the freshwater hobby. It is the angelfish that has the most variations. Practically all the angelfish in the freshwater aquarium hobby are scalar angels. Occasionally, autumn angels come in from places that import South American fish. And sometimes the Lepaldi angelfish comes in. But generally speaking, 99.5% of the angelfish in the aquarium hobby are the scalar. And you'll find the scalar angel in the Amazon basin, in Peru, Colombia, and Brazil. And the final angelfish type is the Lepaldi angel. And the Lepaldi angel is also known as the long-nosed angel. It gets a little bit smaller than the autumn and the scalar angel. And the Lepaldi angelfish can be found in the Amazon River between uh, Manicaparu and Santirum, Esquabo River, and Rupini River. So those are the three types of 
freshwater angelfish. Now, angelfish are extremely hardy, and they are easy to keep in the home aquarium. For angelfish, I recommend an aquarium of 40 gallons and larger. Obviously, the larger, the better. The larger the aquarium, the more angelfish you can keep. But generally speaking, for a pair of angels, you should at least aim for a 55-gallon aquarium. Angelfish are super simple to keep. They love to eat, and they will eat practically anything that you offer them. I recommend feeding them a varied diet, which includes good quality flake foods, good quality pelleted foods, blood worms, brine shrimp, market shrimp, frozen food, and even live black worms, and your angelfish will thrive. So that is information on angelfish. Now we're going to get to our third and final cichlid that we're going to discuss before we get to the fun part of life in the Amazon. And the fun part of life in the Amazon is where I get to show you photos and videos of these amazing fish. All right, so now let's learn about the Mesonoto or Mesonoda festivums. So let's learn about the Mesonoda festivums right now. And let me give you some information on festivum cichlids. Mesonoda, the flag cichlids are a small genius of cichlids native to the Amazon, Orinoco, Esquabo, Piranha, and Paraguay basins in South America. They occur in various freshwater habitats, such as streams and lakes, especially in areas with little water movement and aquatic vegetation. They are generally found in small groups that stay near the water surface. To avoid predators, adults may jump out of the water and juveniles mimic leaves. Some species are popular in the fish keeping hobby and are frequently kept in home aquariums. Now, festivums can grow to be about 8 to 10 inches in length, so they are a medium-sized South American cichlid. They can be kept with waru, uh, geophagus, sevrums, chocolate cichlids, discus, angelfish, and even oscars. That's what I really like about festiv festival cichlids is that they're super versatile and they can be kept with a wide range of South American cichlids, which makes them a very, very cool uh, South American cichlid. They will eat just about anything like the angelfish and like the discus. All right, and now it is time for the fun part of our show. It is time for photos and videos of angelfish, discus, and festivums. So let's start with some photographs of discus, angels, and festivums, shall we? Here is a very beautiful wild-caught discus. This is an incredible-looking Santerum discus. Very, very beautiful. And then we have a tank of some wild red-spotted green discus. And there's also a red turquoise discus in there. Now, generally speaking, it is not recommended to house wild top discus with tank raised discus, simply because tank raised discus carry different pathogens and parasites than wild top discus. But as long as you quarantine them together, you should be okay. And here is a picture of some beautiful tank raised discus. These look like red turquoise discus, very, very beautiful. Here are some more beautiful tank raised discus. I see a, a blue diamond discus. I see a marlboro discus. I see a, a blue turquoise discus, a pigeon blood discus. So some very beautiful tank raised discus there. Um, I would say that discus are the South American version of African cichlids. There's so many cool variations of them. 
And then here is another red spotted wild green teefy discus. Very, very cool, colorful discus. Very, very beautiful. You can't go wrong with the red spotted green teefy discus. And this is another red spotted teefy discus. The wild caught teefy discus are very, very beautiful. You can't go wrong with them. And then we've got some beautiful wild caught angelfish. Here are some beautiful wild caught Rio Nene angelfish. There is a reason why I tell you the Rio Nene Scalar angels are my favorite. They're absolutely beautiful. The wild caught Rio Nene Scalars are gorgeous. Here are some more wild caught Rio Nene Scalar. Look how absolutely beautiful these fish are. Can't go wrong with them. And then we have a beautiful black angel fish here. This is a tank bread and uh, common angel fish in the aquarium hobby. A beautiful blue scalar angel, a captive raised angel fish. Very, very beautiful. And now we're going to get to some photos of festivums. Here is a festivum in the wild. This festivum looks like it's from Peru. And a very beautiful festivum in the wild. Here is my favorite festivum. It is called the Yellow Belly Festivum. Look how beautiful the Yellow Belly Festivum is. A really beautiful and attractive fish. And my final image for you is another beautiful yellow belly festivum. As you can see, as festivums mature, they get a very nice color pattern, almost like a checkerboard pattern as they mature. Very, very cool, unique, colorful fish. Cannot go wrong with festivum cichlids. All right, I think you've heard enough of me talking. And now, it is first, I've got a video of some discus that I made, a little collage I made on Canva. Check out these beautiful tank-raised discus. Those were some very beautiful discus. Now let's take a look at a beautiful angelfish collage that I put together. In this angelfish collage, you're going to see some wild-caught 
Rio Nene Scalar Angels. You'll see some beautiful Autumn Angels, and you'll see some beautiful Kink Ray Scalar Angels. So here is that collage featuring Rio Nene, Scalar Angels, Autumn Angels, and regular Scalar Angels. This time I'm doing it on my terms Every word, every breath, all that I've learned I couldn't stay away, trust me I tried everything Even tried to stop listening Favorite artists were history Couldn't stand it, I was jaded All my love turned to hatred Didn't matter, wasn't hitting Only drove my frustration Then it happened, grandma died Swore I'd never rap again Too much pain, couldn't face it All these thoughts since Inside my head, tried my best to be happy, bury myself in family, part of me wasn't whole, so writing, don't ask me, time to focus on fatherhood, deep down, boost calling, found the flow for the first time in seven years, it's like crawling, think I might have something here, each line, gaining traction, I can feel it, building up, if I open up, I can't retract it, then I feel the tide shift, Time to open the floodgates Let it all wash over me So there's nothing left but my chest plate uh! I hear it calling I see it building I feel it turning It's time for me to crawl Taking my first steps, hoping this will take hold. Channel it, harness it, now bottle it. That's gold, I got this. Put the shit in motion, overcome with emotion. Tap into it, stay focused. Put the bottle down, I know this. Dig deep. Very, very beautiful angelfish. All right, right now I'm going to play a festival video. And then after the festival video, I'm going to play a beautiful Autumn Angel video. And then when that's over, we're going to take our quick intermission. And when we come back from intermission, we're going to finish the show with some more amazing videos.
Very gorgeous autumn angels. All right, right now, life in the Amazon is going to take a quick intermission, which is brought to us by our supporters at Oasis Aquatics, Aquascape Online, Little Egypt Aquarium Club, and of course, the Facebook fish keeping group, Aquarium Obsession. Also, during this intermission, you're going to learn about an exciting new fish keeping live stream coming to my YouTube channel this coming Tuesday, and you'll learn about this Saturday's Happy Easter Saturday Live. Life in the Amazon, episode 44, Angelfish, Discus, and Festivums, continues right after this quick intermission. When I come back, I've got four more amazing videos for you. Life in the Amazon. Amazon continues right after this, so don't go anywhere. So my name is Tom. I started fish keeping when my grandfather dug a fish tank out of the attic when I was about five years old. So my name's Matt. I'm part of uh, Oasis Aquatics. Been doing this for a long time. Started when I was about seven years old. 22 years of doing this business. I'm 29 years old now. I never stopped. There wasn't a day in between where I did not think about fish, fish keeping. I was doing a vet tech job for many years. Eventually I stopped that because this is my passion in my life. Matt and I have known each other Far too long, as many friendships should be. You're like, you know what? We need a fish store. There's no fish stores around here. So we have to make it easy access for everyone, to have many varieties from the little small stuff for everyone to the monster fish keeper people. No matter what it is that you're looking to do, we can provide it for you. Aquascape Online is proud to support Aqua Alex Cardinale and Aquatic Wetline. Aquascape Online is an online exotic freshwater fish shop owned by Pedro Viegas who specializes in piranhas, stingrays, cichlids, catfish, and more. Aquascape Online has been monster fish keepers go to place for exotic large growing predatory fish for over a decade. Looking for a specific type of piranha? Aquascape carries both Pigacentris and Cerasalmus. We also have Exodon tetras, wolf fish, African tiger fish, and other toothy aquatic monsters. Check us out today. www.aquascapeonline.com Little Egypt Aquarium Club is a proud supporter of Aqua Alex Cardinal and Aquatic Wetline. Little Egypt Aquarium Club is an aquarium club in Redbud, Illinois, but it's also an online tropical fish supplies website. On the Little Egypt Aquarium Club website, you'll find tropical fish foods such as repashi and flakes. You'll also find medications and breeding supplies and even live angel fish. Everything and anything you may need for your freshwater aquarium can be found at Little Egypt Aquarium Club. Orders over $200 get free shipping. Little Egypt Aquarium Club is giving a 10% discount by using the code ALEX. Remember, Save 10% by using coupon code Alex. Little Egypt Aquarium Club, my Shopify. Come. Do you have kids who want to get a fish tank? Do your kids want to enter the aquarium hobby? The aquarium hobby is very relaxing and rewarding, but it can be quite the undertaking for a first time hobbyist. Luckily, there is one young man who was once in your shoes. He decided to research and learn about the aquarium hobby, and used his experiences to write and publish a book for future kids entering the aquarium hobby. Introducing Fish Keeping for Kids written and published by Brian Conway. Everything you need to know about the aquarium hobby in one book. Fish Keeping for Kids is a guide to keeping fish and other aquatic creatures. It uses easy-to-read language and images, to help the information be easily understood. While it was written especially for kids 8 years old and up, it is a good guide for people of any age. This book covers all the basics, 
and some intermediate level topics to help someone get started and learn more about caring for fish and other aquatic animals. What do you get from fish keeping for kids? Friendly. It was written by a kid for kids. Simple. Written in easy to understand language for kids and adults. Informative. Full of charts, graphs, and diagrams to make it easy to follow along with. Complete. All of the things someone should know when they start fish keeping. For more information and to purchase a copy of Fish Keeping for Kids, please visit www.fishkeepingforkids.com. That's fishkeepingforkids.com. Do you have an obsession for aquariums and tropical fish? Well, so does Aqua Alex Cardinale, and that's why he is now an admin on the wonderful Facebook fish keeping and aquarium group Aquarium Obsession. It's also why I'm so happy to tell you about this group. It is a place for every fish keeper, whether you are keeping freshwater or saltwater or even goldfish. We also welcome reptile and amphibian enthusiasts. Aquarium Obsession is one of the only Facebook fish keeping groups where our members come first, and we want them to feel part of our fish family. Members are encouraged to participate in group activities such as Aquatic YouTube Thursdays. Fish tubers are welcome to share any of their fish keeping or reptile videos on Thursdays. We also have knowledgeable staff including Aqua Alex. So what are you waiting for? Come find out what the obsession is about our group. Check out Aquarium Obsession on Facebook today and join our group. Type Aquarium Obsession in the search bar or go to this link www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash j-o-m-f group get ready for easter everyone on the next saturday live with alex cardinale it's an easter themed saturday live since it will be held on easter eve live saturday march 30th 2024 at 9 p.m eastern 6 p.m meters pacific it's happy easter saturday live with alex cardinale Chef Alex will have Easter dinner tips and Easter recipes. The animal of the week will be the bunny aka rabbit. Get ready to learn about bunnies just in time for Easter. Sergeant Slaughter will have facts on Easter, Universal Studios, and Carvel ice cream. Oasis Aquatics featured fish will be the true freshwater tiger moray eel. Aquascape Online featured fish is the wolf fish. Aqua Alex's featured fish is a saltwater fish known as a fox face rabbit fish. Let's recap March and discuss Easter gift ideas with Alex Cardinale. Plus, more best WrestleMania matches as WrestleMania draws closer, Yankees Spotlight, Karens of the Week, and so much more. Happy Easter everyone! Happy Easter Saturday Live with Alex Cardinale Live Saturday March 30, 2024 at 9 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Pacific on YouTube channel The Real Alex Cardinale. Aqua Alex Cardinali and Fish Guy Tom McGuire are proud to announce a new fish keeping series coming to YouTube channel The Real Alex Cardinali. The name of this fish keeping show is Find Your Oasis. It will be hosted by Aqua Alex Cardinali and Oasis Aquatics owner Fish Guy Tom McGuire. This will be a fish keeping livestream with no scripts and no nonsense. Any and everything fish will be discussed and Tom will also discuss current happenings at Oasis Aquatics. Find Your Oasis airs each and every month on YouTube channel The Real Alex Cardinale. Don't miss the chance to see two awesome fish keeping friends chat fish and have fun. The debut of Find Your Oasis is live this Tuesday April 2, 2024 at 9 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Pacific. Let's kick off April in style fish keepers. What will Aqua Alex and Fish Guy Tom have to discuss on the debut episode? Oasis Aquatics celebrates its first year on April 1st. Will that be up for discussion on the debut of Find Your Oasis? Who knows? Be sure to tune in and have some fun. Live Tuesday April 2nd 2024 at 9 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Pacific on YouTube channel The Real Alex Cardinale. Welcome back to Life in the Amazon, episode 44. Tonight we are talking about angelfish, discus, and festivums. Before our intermission, I gave you information on angelfish, discus, 
and Festivums, and I showed you some beautiful pictures and videos. And now I have about four more amazing videos to share with you. We've got a couple more discus videos and a couple of more angelfish videos. So here are some beautiful wild top red spot teefy green discus. Very, very, very cool. Very nice discus and angels. Very, very beautiful teefy red spotted green discus. And our final video is some real Nene Scalar Angels. All right, fish keepers, thank you, for thank you for joining me on the journey to South America and the Amazon River. Thank you for joining me tonight as we learned about angelfish, discus, and festivums. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Life in the Amazon, and I hope you all learned a lot about angelfish, discus, and festivums. With that being said, to check out our previous episode, of Life in the Amazon, just go to my YouTube channel, The Real Alex Cardinelli, and go to the playlist Life in the Amazon, and you'll find all previous 43 episodes of Life in the Amazon. I hope you enjoyed learning about angelfish, discus, and festivums. On the next episode of Life in the Amazon, episode 45, I'm going to talk about Akara cichlids 
and terror cichlids. Get ready to learn about the green terror cichlid and get ready to learn about the true red terror, also known as the Fieste. Get ready to learn about blue acaras, get ready to learn about port acaras, and all the different types of acaras. On the next episode of Life in the Amazon, I will teach you about acaras and terrors that come from South America and the Amazon River. With that being said, fish keepers, happy fish keeping. Enjoy your angelfish discus and festivum. So if you haven't had, if you don't have any yet, consider getting some. Thank you for watching Life in the Amazon. I'm Aqua Alex Cardinelli from my fish from in Green Acres, Florida. Happy fish keeping, everyone, and good. Thank you very much for watching this live stream of the Real Alex Cardinali YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the show. I want to thank you all for your patronage for the last 10 years. It's going to be incredible riding into the future with more awesome live streams and videos. Aqua Alex Cardinali, Chef Alex Cardinali, WWE fan Alex Cardinali, Detective Alex Cardinali, and the real Alex Cardinali would like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this live stream, please smash that like button. If you are new to my YouTube channel please hit that subscribe button and become a legendary viewer and a legendary Cardinali. Check out the real Alex Cardinali on social media. Facebook Alex Cardinali, American Alex. Instagram Instagram.cot forward slash Alex Cardinali 93. Fishkeepers please join our amazing Facebook fishkeeping group Aquarium Obsession. Check out and support Oasis Aquatics our amazing supporter since July of 2023. www.oasisaquaticsnj.com Follow Oasis Aquatics on Facebook and Instagram. Have a good night and thanks for watching. Stay legendary.